What's up? This is Steve with Rockstar Eater, and in this episode, we're going to be doing something really interesting. Have you ever heard of a four-course Japanese meal that's only like $10? That's right, there is actually a four-course Japanese meal, including sushi and rolls, and sometimes sashimi for $10.80. This is at Katsuya in Encino, and it's part of an early bird special from Monday through Fridays, in which the first 10 to 15 customers are privileged to get this four course meal for $10. Now this is so exciting because in Los Angeles, it's really hard to find some really good cheap eats. So now that we have arrived at this restaurant, I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna fill my stomach and I'm gonna give you an overview on this restaurant that serves some of the uh, cheapest meals in uh, Los Angeles during a very special hour. So stay tuned. seated right now at the Katsuya in Encino and I had to wait in line in order to get in here because you can't do the early bird by reservation. You do need to get in line and get like a special ticket and it's been said that they give out usually about like 10 to 15 maximum during the weekdays like Monday through Friday so that means you'd have to get here at least 15 minutes before this place opens. Maybe sometimes even 30 depending on crowd, how crowded it is but but for $10, I mean, is it not worth the wait? Course number one just came out, which is uh, salad. This, this is the salad that they brought out. So it comes with uh, cucumber, lettuces, tomato, and then the special house dressing. So this is course one of what they give you in the early bird special. Salad's pretty good. Dressing is pretty nice all around. This is course number two, so we have spicy tuna and California rolls. Four pieces of spicy tuna and four pieces of California roll. Uh, this itself would probably be worth five or six dollars if you ordered it at a sushi restaurant a la carte. Spicy tuna. Um, it's kind of like a spicy tuna you would find at a many sushi restaurants. It's not mind blowing whatsoever, but it's pretty good though. You know, it's um, I mean for ten dollars and eighty cents, can't complain. California rolls right there. Yep, California rolls is pretty much um, kind of like standard quality as well. The imitation crab meat, uh, avocado, cucumber, sesame seeds on the top. What a California roll is supposed to be. I'm not much of a roll fan, so if I were to go to a sushi restaurant and I had to pay a la carte, I would usually order more of the uh, high-end stuff, like the real sushi. Maybe go to like one of those omakase restaurants. But uh, spicy tuna, California, if they give it to me, I'll take it, I'll eat it. Now they brought out course number three, and this is the sushi platter. Oh, this is definitely the main attraction. So it looks like it comes here with uh, eight pieces of sushi, all assorted, along with these two pieces that are like the spicy tuna over the uh, fried rice, which is popular here in uh, California. So let's see what they give us. They give us tuna, they have yellowtail, they have salmon, they have halibut, they have albacore, I believe, and they have shrimp. Then they have uh, unagi, which is freshwater eel. They have octopus, and then these two, which is the spicy tuna with the jalapeno on top over the uh, rice, which is kind of fried. So this is a good selection all around. I would say this itself is probably worth $20 if you were to order it all a card. Try the tuna first. I admit it's not the highest quality of tuna. There's probably something that you would kind of find like if you were to go to like a, a market 
market or something, but you know, it's still definitely very pleasantly uh, good. I mean, it's not like mind blowing, like if you were gonna go to like Sugarfish or one of those high end omakase restaurants, but overall, I mean, it's a fairly good piece. Let's try the Yellowtail now. Solid piece of yellowtail. Dip the salmon a little dip. Even the salmon itself is also it's tasty. Like I said, once again, not like the best salmon I've ever had. So I'm overall seeing the pattern here after trying three pieces of this platter. It seems like they give you um, kind of like a regular standard quality sushi that you would find uh, if you were to go to more of like a, like a cheaper type of a sushi restaurant. Well, here in Katsuya, I do believe that they do give better cuts of this, but I am supposing that for the early bird special that charges only $10, they're giving this kind of cut in order to save costs. I mean, could you imagine if they were to give you like the best quality fish for $10.80? So we just got our udon noodles. This is gonna be the fourth and last course of this lunch special meal. I don't know if you know this, but in Japan, when they give you rice or udon, that pretty much means that you're at the end of your meal, whether it's like a course meal or omakase or whatever the case is. So if you get like udons or rice, it's pretty much signaling that your meal is about to finish. Well, at least that's before you get dessert if you decide to get dessert. And even though Katsuya is more of an Americanized Japanese restaurant, um, what they do right here is actually very reminiscent of how they do it in Japan itself. And mini udon. So we have the noodles itself. We have a piece of fish cake in there. We have a little piece of mushroom. I think that that might be a shiitake mushroom. And then we also have some tempura flakes right there, kind of give it a little bit of a crispiness, as well as some green onions in here. And we have some of this pepper flake right there in order to make it a little bit spicier. Once again, standard udon. It's not like the best udon ever, but for ten dollars, it does. It does the trick. Just got out of the Katsuya restaurant, finished my ten dollar meal, and um, like I said, if you were to combine everything all together, including the sushi, sashimi, udon noodles, everything. This meal will probably cost at least $25, if not $30. Now, would I be paying $25 or $30 to eat this meal? Probably not. Um, not just because of the price, but because of the quality itself is not like mind-blowing enough for me to want to come back here for $30. But for $10, oh yeah, I'd be coming back here all the time. So hopefully that helps you in finding some of the uh, cheap eat hotspots here in Los Angeles. Four course Japanese meal for $10.80. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rockstar Eater. And if you've liked this episode, then please do like, share this on your social media if you know anybody who could benefit from this information. And please, if you like this video or you like what I'm doing in general, subscribe to my channel. Go to the link below the screen on your right hand side. Click on that so you can get all the latest news and all the videos that come out on a weekly basis. That wraps it up for this edition of Rockstar Eater. My name is Steve and I will see you soon. Peace.